The College of Engineering's preparation for flexible learning. With higher education institutions HEIs closed and not providing in-person instruction due to the pandemic, teaching and learning must continue. It is expected that higher education institutions such as Southern Luzon State University to provide instruction at a distance using a variety of methods that meet student needs. To continue delivering quality instruction for the students, the Faculty of College of Engineering have conducted and participated in series of trainings in preparation for flexible learning. An in-house seminar and workshop training was conducted by the College of Engineering to retool its faculty on the use of Google Suite for Education. It was conducted on May 21, 2020 with the Faculty of Civil, Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Department as participants. The same training was conducted again on May 26, 2020 with the Faculty of Electronics and Industrial Engineering Department as well. Both trainings have been facilitated by the Faculty of the Computer Engineering Department. Another alternative mode of instruction delivery training was participated by the Faculty of College of Engineering on July 23, 2020 on Module Development. Faculty from satellite campuses of SLSU Teaching Technology courses also participated the training. As part of the training, participants presented their modules on different subjects to the resource person for review and improvements. The training on module development was facilitated by the College of Teacher Education. The College of Engineering's faculty plans to deliver instruction to students with equity and access by considering the tools and resources accessible to each student. More alternative modes of instructions will be explored that may include online learning, telephone communications, email, virtual instruction, videos, slideshows, project-based learning, use of instructional packets, or a combination to meet diverse student needs. Instructional adjustments and formative assessments will be made to guide the faculty's reflection on effectiveness of instruction and to determine the next steps for student learning. This is to make sure that, no students will be left behind.